Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have a very exciting video. We have a book haul. So I've got 22 new books to show you guys, so we will just get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so I ordered a couple of things off Amazon. The first book that I got, oh, the cover is so cute. So I got Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I've been meaning to read this book for quite some time. This is like an OG booktube, book talk book. I would say my cover looks a little bit different. I think this is like, I think this is the UK cover or like an updated UK cover. I'm not 100% sure. Really looking forward to reading this book. I've heard it's quite sad and I do love a sad romance. I don't know why, I just do. It's a second chance romance. So they spent a decade apart and then they're gonna find their way back to each other. I love second chance romance. I think that's probably my favorite trope. I don't know why, it just hits really hard. So I'm really looking forward to this. And then I got Tuesdays with Maury. This is by Mitch Album. I feel like this is just gonna be such a wonderful book. It says an old man, a young man and life's greatest lesson. So from my understanding, this older man was the younger guy like professor for a long time and then he didn't see him again and then for some reason he runs into him 20 years later the older man is unfortunately you know very old at this point i would say close to passing away and i think they meet up every tuesday and the older man gives the younger guy life advice on just nearly everything you know very valuable lessons and i've just heard this book is phenomenal i'm wanting to read it for quite some time and i'm really looking forward to reading it so i'll let you guys know how that goes and we will do our second amazon package <laughs> the way i forgot what i got we've got a tempest of tea by hafsa Faisal, and i feel like this book has been blowing up recently i think it's a a vampire book I watched Rachel Catherine read it in one of her reading vlogs and she sort of convinced me to read it so I did pick it up but I have seen it floating around and I'm very intrigued by it. I really love the cover so I'm really excited to give this one a go. I'm not going to talk too much about the synopsis of each book because there's 22 books and I will be here yapping for a long time and I'm sure you guys don't want that. And then I got A Court This Cruel and Lovely by Stasia Stark or is it Stash Stasia Stark? I'm not sure. Um, this is a fantasy romance, I think enemies to lovers. I haven't really heard of this book before. I haven't really seen it floating around booktube. I do really wanna try reading books that aren't super popular, at least from what I know, I could be wrong. It'd be embarrassing if I'm wrong, but just because I wanna give you guys some recommendations and maybe more things that you haven't seen around much before. Do you know what I mean? And also this author is from New Zealand. It said somewhere, which is really cool because I'm from New Zealand and I feel like you don't see a lot of authors from New Zealand so I'm really looking forward I mean there are a lot of them from New Zealand but at least not ones writing fantasy romance from what I know and it's got a map I love a map and yeah it just sounds very interesting it's a fey I think darker fantasy romance so I will let you guys know how that goes then I've got this oh, massive book box there's 18 books in here and i was kindly sent this from second chapter crates second chapter crates is a book subscription service like a monthly book subscription service but all of the books are second hand they've been loved before so what that means is that each book is going to be floppy at least i hope so because the best thing about second hand books is they're floppy because they've been read before and i just love a floppy book. If you've watched my channel, you guys know that I do go thrift book shopping, secondhand book shopping. I'm a big believer in re-loving a book. Do you know what I mean? They were so kind to send me this. 18 books. 18. Something else really cool about them is they will curate the sort of books that they will send you. So the guy reached out to me from Second Chapter Crates, Michael. He was such a nice guy. So I gave him my favorite genres. You can do that when you sign up. They're currently in their pre-launch sort of stage. So I will link their website down below. And they've got a monthly book subscription where you can either get seven books a month, 10 books a month, or 18 books a month. They'll send you those books and they'll send you popular ones as well as sort of more like haven't really blown up sort of books just so you can you know, find new gems that haven't really been discovered properly before. So I feel like it's just the perfect mix of popular and then kind of discovering new books. I'm just gonna start picking out. I told him that I love fantasy romance, romance, thrillers, and then general fiction as well as literary fiction. So I'm assuming there'll be 
a mixture in here. Oh, where do I even start? Should I just look? No way! Okay, so the first book we have in here is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Oh my god, this is so exciting! Oh, and the book is floppy. And guys, it's in such good condition. So they don't send you any books that have been like, you know, completely damaged. They're obviously secondhand. They have a little bit of wear and tear, but they are in fantastic condition. I just feel like this is such a good thing if you are a book book lover and you buy a lot of books, but books are so expensive. I think from my understanding, this box is $75 US for 18 books, tailored to your taste. Like, isn't that just phenomenal? That's so exciting! Okay, we got Caraval by Stephanie Garber. She wrote the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, which I love. Oh, we've got a hardback. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is the last Quentista. I love hardcovers. We don't really get them a lot here in New Zealand. It's got very, very good praise on the back. What is this about? Wow, this sounds like such an interesting book. Okay, so this girl wanted nothing more than to be a storyteller, but somehow Earth is destroyed by a comet and only a few hundred scientists and their children manage to survive. And they are the ones who must carry on the human race. Hundreds of years later, Petra, who's the main character, she wakes up to this new planet and the discovery that she is the only person who remembers Earth. So it seems like everyone else forgot about Earth and she's the only one that remembered it. And she has to go on this journey to kind of carry on the stories that she remembers and in the hopes to kind of revive them. This sounds like such an interesting premise. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Guys, I'm honestly so happy. Like this is literally my dream. Ooh, and then we have Prelude for Lost Souls. On the back it says, every town has a story, this town has a ghost story. This is a hardback. Guys, this is so exciting getting books that I haven't really heard of before because then it means I can read them and recommend them to you guys, especially if you also haven't heard of them before. Next we, <laughs> Next we have It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. You know, I did read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and I did actually really enjoy that book. I'm not the biggest Colleen Hoover fan, but hey, I might give it a go. Her books are super fast paced and very easy to read and it's only a short book, so that's very exciting. <laughs> And then we have The Lady's Paradise. Ooh, it says a novel about the conflicting forces of love, loyalty, and ambition. Ooh, and this is a romance. And I think it's got a TV show. I think this is translated from French, which is so exciting. I think it's about this girl living in Paris during Paris's transition into like the modern, sexy, kind of cool city that it is. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. It's so fun getting like the perfect mixture of books that you've heard of before and then books that you haven't heard of before. I feel like it's just, I don't know, I love it. I'm really, really excited. And then I have, I've definitely seen this book before. It's called Tumbleweeds by Leila Meechin. I've definitely seen this book before. It says this is a book full of deceit, murder, and unyielding love. Is this just like a general fiction? I'm not 100% sure. But I've definitely seen this book around before. Ooh. I think this is a thriller. I did request a few thrillers, which I'm really excited for. Midnight is the Darkest Hour by Ashley Winstead. At the top it says, Where the Crawdads Sing meets Twilight meets Thelma and Louise. Ooh. I love a thriller and I've been really in the mood for some thrillers, so I'm very excited that I think I've got a bunch of thrillers in here. I did get another Colleen Hoover book. <laughs> I got All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. You know, I do think I will read this to be honest because I've read three Colleen Hoover books and I really actually enjoyed two of them and I didn't like one of them. I read Verity and It Ends With Us, thoroughly enjoyed them. And then I also read Ugly Love, but I did not like it. But you know what? I am gonna give this one a go. It's just short, it's fast paced. I am actually very excited. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to gift one of these. So they sent me Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, which is a book that I did select myself. I purchased this book. Well, look, they do know my book taste. This is in such pristine condition. Like, this is in perfect condition, you guys. Oh, I don't know which book cover I like more. I think I like the one they sent me much more. It's very cozy, like the little pictures on it. That is so funny. <laughs> oh, love it. Ooh, and then we have My Name is Memory by Anne Brashears. Oh, it's the same author that wrote The Sister of... What's it called? The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. And on the back it says, Sometimes love lasts more than a lifetime. Oh, I'm assuming this is like a romance, general fiction sort of romance. Yeah, it's a romance. Okay, we have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I read this book a while ago, probably like 10, 11, 12 years ago. And I loved it. Young Me ate this book up. As I actually can't get over how good the books are, like the condition that they're in. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. You guys have to sign up to this book subscription service. Again, they are still in their pre-launch phase. Um, but from my understanding, if you sign up, you do get a free book in your box. I'll double check that, but I think they've just got such a good deal on. Okay, and then we have, you know, I've never read a Tessa Bailey book before, so I'm really excited. I have Unfortunately Yours by Tessa Bailey. You would honestly think I just got this from the bookshop. It is in pristine condition pristine i've heard her books are very good if you're looking for like a good rom-com sort of romance and i have actually been really in the mood for that recently and then we have carry on by rainbow rowell i used to love rainbow rowell i read fangirl by her and another book something paris i forgot but i did used to love this author so that's so exciting Ooh, and then i think we're in the um thriller category I have The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Is it mystery? I think it's a mystery slash thriller. Where have I seen this book before? I have Crank by... <gasps> I used to read these in high school. Oh my god. I don't know if you could see the back of these, but in my library in high school, I think I read Impulse when I was there. Yes! This is such a flashback. Oh my god. So these books, they're written in this format where it's like, it's not full pages. It's written like this. You guys, this is such a throwback to high school. Holy shit. Yeah, I definitely read Impulse by this author and I read like the whole thing in one sitting when I was at the library just because as you can see, it's very easy to do. I'm really looking forward to reading this. <laughs> I really am. And then I got, ooh, Gone Tonight by Sarah Pekinen. Ooh. Ooh, it's got good praise. Very good praise on the back. Ooh, it's filled with buried secrets and jaw-dropping deception. That's what I want in my fillers. Then we have The Perfect Girl by Jilly Macmillan. Also a thriller? Yeah. Amazing, gripping, beautifully written debut kept me up into the late night and scared the life out of me. Oh, I'm scared. Is this going to be like a scary thriller? Probably. But I am excited. I do love a thriller, you guys. They're just so fast paced, so fun. We've got one more book. We've got Refugee by Ellen Gratz. Oh, I feel like this book's going to make me cry. It's an incredibly important and heart-rending edge of the seat read, bringing light to the immigrants who are searching for safety and freedom. Aww. Books like this always really get me in the heart, so that's going to be a very, very, very good read. Guys, I actually can't believe how phenomenal this book selection is. Like, I am so thankful. Thank you so much to Second Chapter Crates for sending me these books. I think that is such good bang for your buck. 75 US dollars for 18 books curated to your taste. Phenomenal, phenomenal. 
I think they sent me like a little letter as well. Oh, they did. And look, got a little bumblebee on it. That's so nice. It says, welcome to the family. Wow. We are so excited to share this special box of pre-loved books with you. Each book inside has been thoughtfully selected to align with your unique taste and preferences. We hope these stories inspire you, captivate your imagination, and bring endless hours of joy. Your enthusiasm for reading and storytelling is truly inspiring. We admire the way you connect with your audience and share your love for books. It says they're currently accepting reservations before they launch. So to be able to guarantee a spot, please sign up for free at secondchaptercrate.com. I'm going to link them down below. You guys should definitely sign up. I think this is such an incredible book subscription service, like truly, truly incredible. I am so grateful for this. Thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I just feel very, very, very happy and very grateful. So thank you so much for supporting my channel and for watching my videos and yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.